safe. You oh. son of a butt. There you're, you on, you're on my uh, you're on my list. My um, what do you call it? You're you're on uh, mm. my grudge list. I'm a dwarf now. Anyway, hello everyone. Hello, Lynx. Uh, Fable, do you like Dragon Age? I used to. Yeah, so did I. I stopped half like halfway through Inquisition because it just wasn't. It didn't feel the same to me like with when I played Dragon Age Origins or Dragon Age Two. The character designs feel a bit more muted. I just I didn't know, and I'm glad I stopped because Drag because Dragon Age Ve the Veil Guard is coming out and it looks terrible. I liked um. I like the origins a lot. I like the story. And really yeah. Um, Everyone liked the story. Two, I played it a top. Two, I played it a couple times, but in honesty, I I absolutely hate it too. Like uh, it's a lot more restrictive. I will say that, but I will also say it just feels so boring. <laughs> yeah. I will also say that um, while there was a lot more DLC for Origins, like literally, I had all the DLC for Origins. I will not lie. I played through all of it. Yeah, here's the thing. Here's the problem I had with 2, though, is uh, 2 is kind of a prequel sequel because it starts, like, it starts off, like, before the before the crazy events of the first one. No, not necessarily, but kind of, like, during the events of the first game and then, yeah. and then a couple and years after skips. the events of the... Yeah, yeah, and then those time skips, which is fine, but it had an ending that... I feel like no matter what you chose, you were gonna be a bad person. Yeah, you know, because like problem. Noah was gonna win. That's no one was gonna win in that situation. Everyone yeah. had a problem with the ending of two, but let's learn about Drac uh, Dragon Age: The Veil Guard. And this is really the I never best Dragon Age game that, was, that I've ever played. I was told I should buy it for five dollars, but then I thought that's a little too much. Let me think. This looks like an action game now. That's not hello common. That's not what Dragon Age is. All right, pips, I've got no time to spare. Yeah, on because this one. In the uh, of it it's been on record or off the record that the developers of Dragon Age: The Bellguard absolutely wanted to make a, uh, a uh, sorry, a um, God of War type game. Then why don't you just but, make your own game instead of slapping on Dragon Age on it? Because remember, no one wants to. No one wants the chance to create their own thing. They want yeah. to steal everyone else's credit because they know it won't sell. Yeah, they just want to slap the logo on and say, "Yeah, we're we're totally related that to that thing." Boy, Bill Gates bricked my yep. PC, and I had to start over again. But that's uh -huh. not even the fun part. The fun part is I've only got about twenty-four hours until I gotta catch an international flight. So now what? I'm getting the speedrun version of this video. Strap uh -huh. in and strap on. All right. Here we go. Dragon Age Veilguard looks like something straight out of a Tumblr fan fiction. This looks Ooh, like a Pixar that's, movie, but with less that's a roast if I ever heard. God damn, you coming out swinging? Balls. This looks like yet another another established franchise that's known for one thing and gets flipped into the complete opposite yeah. to appeal to a wider audience that doesn't exist. And I, for one, wish Bioware all the success that Volition had. Ooh, goddamn. In my anger with this game, I know Veilguard fans get pissy when people use their eyes to- What fans? I'm actually asking, what fans? Are, uh, is there actually any fans for this? Like, the only people I can say are going, Yeah, representation! And usually those people don't buy the game. The problem is, right now, people are actually buying this game. Not because they want to or not because they hate it. Because there's a bunch of people who will buy the game just because it has the name Dragon Age on it. Yeah. They don't care to... They don't care to enough to open their eyes to see the truth. They just want to do that. And I wish I could be that ignorant, to be honest. To see and they feel like because yeah. people are pointing out how shit this yeah. game looks they can't like this dog shit themselves and i'm here yeah. to say i don't really give a fuck if you like it all right yeah Just we don't, don't. Talk to me about it next to this window Here's the thing we really don't care if you like it or not we are allowed to give our own opinions just like you are and we can raise good criticism mm -hmm. It's just it's stupid it's stupid to think 
Yeah, you can do this. No. And you can just not take criticism. Off. Look, I know this game identifies as a Dragon Age game, but it's hard to choke that down when I can see the throbbing Assassin's Creed Valhalla hanging from under its dress. Yeah. Of finally building upon Origin's janky but engaging combat system, BioWare took the coward's way out by assimilating with the Borg and making another shitty action yeah. game with light RPG mechanics. This looks no like a clunky and packless hack and slasher. The combos look basic as shit, the flow looks horrible, and from one action game lover to another. I know you're trying to protect little Jimmy's yeah. eyes for when he accidentally buys this game thinking it's a Fortnite sequel, but if this Ooh. is the direction we're taking, maybe we could splurge on a little bit of gore in our M-rated game, huh? Oh, Even they don't have any that, gore? The journalists keep trying wow. to convince me that my decisions will matter, but now, not even my previous decisions matter. No, choose. Okay, let me read this. But things like you choose to make the head of the Chantry at the end of never came up. There's no sign of war in, from Origins, or even that you visit the Stronghold. Hawk only gets a passing mention. There are only a few cameos from both Origin. This is what I didn't like from Inquisition. I didn't see a lot of this. No, don't reference any important choices you made in their present. The game feels like a bit off in a soft reboot. Oh, I hate that. <sighs> there are a grand total of zero decisions that will pour it over from the first two games. I Fun hate fact, this. Dragon Age 2 was made in about a year and had about 20. Speaking of all Hollow, wow. we now get a skill tree that's packed with a fuck ton of passive bonuses to give you the illusion of there being more to unlock Ooh. than there actually is. That, that's actually a problem with gaming nowadays. Right, Fable? Where they just... All it does is give you a passive, like, give you 5% to... Shooting lightning from your nose. Whenever you shoot lightning from your nose. Fable? Are you alive? Uh, guys, I think something happened to Fable. I think his hearing out went bad again. Anyway. Well, uh, there you are. I was talking. I, I was agreeing with you. I was just like, yeah. And then he, apparently my microphone phone got moved without me doing anything that got weird oh another person unfollowed over on our twitch channel well that means you all have to go follow here over on twitch i know like 90 percent of you aren't subscribed to the youtube channel so at least go follow me on twitch if you're not going to do the other thing anyway H how about you guys give me the follow thank I you for the resub giggles it means a lot hi giggles I'm just disappointed in what Dragon and you know Age Origin is now. I'm actually fine with this because personally, I, I believe in gratitude. I believe that there are so many people out there that have it so much worse in this world. Like, for example, yeah. your companions who now have a kids menu skill tree with Wait, this what? four whole abilities. Remember oh, when you could no. level up your companions like they were a main character? This tourist remembers. But hey, who needs that? Now your decisions really matter. Remember when you could kill off a main companion in the first five hours of Origins? Well, or you could just miss them, honestly. It was insane back then. That ain't shit. And Veilguard? Your choice is decide what chick's gonna randomly moan in the middle of dialogue. What? You your friend back to your camp and... <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> okay, that's a good one. But now that I've given you the moans, let's get back to the bitching. This is Companions in Veilguard. Well, wasn't expecting to fight an ogre today. Oh my god. This They're trying to do... Oh, I'm not gonna Origins. stop her. Yeah, I was... That's a place to stop off on. <laughs> yeah, that's a place that I actually stopped on. And I will say this. Um... He's not wrong in that they're trying to do the quirky thing, like, haha, I'm so quirky, it's... Dear God. Stop it. Everyone just stop it. You're, you're not quirky, you're not fun. It's them. Buried. Burton died found. Alright, that's not... Oh uh, yeah, Steve, uh, I did learn his backstory, it's very interesting, but... Compare. I'm not gonna go through it here, I suggest people play... Dragon Age Origins for that. We also have this dumpster Never. fire! This bisexual disaster! Bisexual Before disaster? Angry, that was a description from the writer of that character himself. That what? Himself, really? Himself. He also allegedly just loves his coffee. <sighs> This wow. game's gonna be another nacho night, I can feel it. Now, as for the tone and writing, I think it's gonna be that stupid, safe, My Little Pony bullshit. I think that first wacky whoa, 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 trailer is I'm what so this game actually that. is. And these faux dark trailers is probably them taking the few times they get dark 
and pretending right. it's the whole game so they can bait and switch yeah. us on launch day. They can't really even hide that in their own trailers. Like they need to just stop using these franchises and give them to someone who actually cares at this point. Because... Nobody cares anymore, bud. The fans care, that's very clear, because they're angry. Like, look at this. These trailers go, yeah, we're actually pretty dark and brutal. Battle me Yeah, we're actually pretty dark. As for the voice performance, Rook sounded good, but then there's this wom no. woman. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. Okay, that was very stilted, I won't lie. What? No. The storm could tear you apart. Next, now I get why they're dropping the game on Mac, Halloween. Be These fake they're survivors in front of us. Behind us. It's oh my god. Facial animations are scary as hell. Pimp. Like I said, the same thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, as I said before, apparently someone revealed this why their heads look so weird. They forgot to resize them. Ooh, I've said this. That that's why their that's why their heads look so big. If anyone's they wondering, they got that cold INTJ stare, that look of pure analyzing, coupled with yeah. a slight sardonic smile that makes people. That's why their amazing. heads look kind of huge. Words, they're all out here looking like the Ooh. third Menendez brother. Mm -hmm. Following that, budget cuts, budget cuts, budget cuts. These companions are so ugly, not even the AI wants to look at them. How are you gonna <laughs> brag about okay. nudity? Like that's a selling point for this game. Bioware, stop. Why that. would you care? That is such a weird thing to. Okay. I don't remember. I think, um, excuse me. I think it's getting to the point where a lot of companies are starting to understand that they're not doing good, that they're actually willing to start selling, you know, actually have their characters on SFW stuff going on. That way they can get Money. more artists to get, to get on it and then they'll become more popular. But the problem is. You're, yeah, it no. Has yeah, no. you have to start out interesting. This isn't a gotcha game. You can't just sell me a bunch of waifu skins. Color version if it guarantees that I'll never come across Tosh's nudes by accident. Fuck, I got 12 hours till this flight. Listen, this is what... Oh, that does remind me of that thing that you told me, Fable, where people were, uh... uh what was it? Blizzard was paying people not to make NSFW art of their characters. Yeah, they're literally paying model modders and modelers to not actually make NSFW art of any of the Blizzard, of any of the Overwatch characters, because they wanted to keep it clean as possible. But I'm sure some still took the money and still did it because, hey, free money. Yeah. It was really funny. That is kind of like funny. This is what she looks like now. Point made, moving Hi, on. Daisy. The only thing worse Hi, than what they Daisy. made is what you can make. So. Oh, I'm yeah. Gonna... Apparently, you're very limited in your options for making a character, which... Very defeats the point. Yay, Mick is streaming. Yes, I am. Hello, sweet Daisy. But Personally, and yeah, I know for the team. Why are they why are they denying us the ability to make their character into something we want when they have when they have uh type A, type B, or in between? How are they denying us the ability to make sexy characters? The fuck? It was important that you could Listen, if I wanna make a sexy character a Listen. If the characters want to make a sexy character, why not let them? It's their game. They bought the money. They bought the money. They bought the game. Woman, this is tyranny. I dare I say bigotry. And I won't let my busty fabric stretch and sisters in Christ be discriminated against. Oh, can I get a yes, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just when I thought we couldn't mm. get any lower than budget cuts, now we have negative budget. We are in oh. debt. And I know this has been the subject of a lot of controversy with many saying, including a former developer from BioWare. Surgery if you don't scars? Like this customization option, just don't use it. And you know what? I agree. And as as long as that's the logic we're using, uncap those sliders and let us make some busty fantasy hoes. Let us blow that <laughs> ass out like an Instagram thought. And if it offends <laughs> you, just don't use it. Finally, despite every other- I mean, that is a good point. If you don't like how a character will look on this, you can just turn it off. Their RPG mechanic being dumbed down to pre-K levels. I've been assured by every game journalist that's been gargling Bioware's balls like mouthwash mm. that your choices matter. And after mm. hours of research, I can proudly say that your choices actually do matter. Do because they? you have the choice to buy this piece of shit or go drop five dollars on Dragon's Crown and have the ride of your life. Look at this art. Look at this art. Look at this art. This I will say one thing. No matter what you think about Dragon's Crown, it is actually looks like a fun game and the it has a very unique art style. 
This is the same people, it's by Atlas, by the way. This is the same developers that made uh, Unicorn Overlord, which is another good game I suggest you check out. This game is I, Dragon I Age thought... in name only. They're a company on the verge of... You just said why I now? just thought Dragon's Crown was pretty much just an RPG where you fight fantasy creatures. Uh, it's animated. pretty much a... It's pretty much a three-player or four-player beat-em-up, yeah. Uh, I'm talking about Unicorn Overlord, which is a tactical game. But it has the same art style, and it's made by the same team over at Atlas. Collapse. Bait and switching you is their only hope. Don't believe them. And these gaming journalists are word prostitutes selling their <laughs> opinions for free breakfast buffets at the Holiday Inn. Saying Honestly, he's not exactly wrong about that. Shit like Bioware is back, baby, y'all! Listen, I have so much to say about this game, and I didn't even get to get to everything I hate about it in this video, but mm. blame Bill Gates for that. He's a what? fan of Dragon Age Bale Garden. He sabotaged me. All right. Why do you... Like in fucking three hours, and I still haven't packed. I gotta get out of here. We'll continue this conversation when I get back. Fuck you, Bill. Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, right, it's the crazy man. Look at the size of that boy's head. Oh, yeah. Someone refixed the models for them. I'm not kidding. It's like an orange on a toothpick. <laughs> it's like an orange on a toothpick. What are your thoughts, Phil? Who is Bill? Bill Gates is the head of Microsoft. I don't know. I just... I just think... I wish video games were back to being fun. And if you wish to include people, like... Characters who are of a certain sexuality, don't put it in our face. Don't make it obvious. Just have it pass off in just casual here's the, conversation. And it's people like as, be like, oh, damn, that's really cool. It's like Put Sonic Boom him. Knuckles said. Drawing more drawing more attention to it basically says that this sh sh isn't the status quo. That they shouldn't be treated normal. Yeah. Which, if you're... Also, if you're using that as your main selling point, saying we have people like this, it's kind of horrible and mean to do to those people just say hey you're a marketing gimmick for us pretty much anyway. also have you heard about the controversy involved with mass effect board game i have heard a little bit about it i don't know much what's going on there other than one of the creators is fighting fans which is another stupid thing you never do don't fight with uh your fans let me just sum it up real quick for you. Real quick. Okay. Basically, okay. they added uh, they added uh, pronouns to characters. And it's just like, okay, that's okay. completely fine. However, when it came to Liara, who is, whose species is literally known to be, uh, literally known to have no concept of, of uh, like, pro, like, no concept of gender. Okay. Because that was the whole thing. It was the whole species of basically uh basically aliens that looked like women but they had no concept of it until okay. they joined the later um until they joined the outer galaxy mm -hmm. they started to refer to themselves as female that however is. on the book it says she slash they and it's just like liara has no con the species has no concept of gender why the frick are they having that in their thing it, that's not even that's not even right in the lore it's you could literally say that she has no gender, and that's completely fine. Yeah. However, the species itself literally has no concept of that. The only reason they started to use them use the female, uh, use the female freaking pronunciation is because of the greater whole of the galaxy. They wanted to try to fit in normally, but mm -hmm. that species has no freaking gender understanding. It's fucking stupid. I didn't know that bit about the lore of them only gaining the pronoun she from other races, but yeah. Uh, basically, this reminds me of when they made those Mass Effect books and they had, like, Quarians walking in normal clothing and Krogan dying from, like, a single gunshot. Where... That's not possible, Kor Korgan. Ah. Krogan. You know what I mean. Yeah. Krogans are notoriously hard to kill. And Quarians can't leave their freaking spoots because of their because yeah. of compromised immune system. It's basically bad writing, but this time they have the defense of, well, you just don't like it because you're mirror mirror. Anyway, thank you all so much. We'll see you later. Thank you for coming to Fable's TED Talk.
You did go all a bit of a rant this... there. <laughs> it's just it's just stupid because literally Liara's species isn't really normal. They they don't have a concept of female male cool bull trap. The only reason they look like alien they look like alien women to us is because they're more parasitic than anything. When you actually look into what they are, they intentionally look beautiful to us so that we can so that we can find them attractive. We don't actually know what they freaking look like and that scares the crap out of me. I actually like Tally quite a bit. She is one of my favorite ones to choose because she has that I love Tally. She shyness. is adorable. Yes, she is. She's the one I always go for because she is adorable and she's sexy. Anyway, thank you all so much and I'll see you all later. Have fun and take care of yourselves, all right? Tally is bae. Pretty much, yeah. She's cool. She's smart. She's got a toughness to her, but she's also got a shyness to her. Anyway, thank, yeah. you. thank you all so much. I'll see you all later.